I'm Tim Dwyer. I direct the Immersive Analytics Research Group here at Monash University. So Immersive Analytics is a term coined here at Monash about five years ago to describe the research that we've been doing in, in facilities like this one. Large wall displays that are capable of projecting 3D into the space around users, bringing data into the world around people who are trying to work with that data and understand that data. And our research is in anticipation of a future where we have headset devices, headset wearable screens as lightweight as the glasses that I'm wearing that allow us to bring that data, bring that information wherever we need to work or uh, live and understand and be informed about complex uh, systems that we have to live and work in. My name is Barrett Enns. I'm a researcher in the Immersive Analytics Group at Monash University. I'm interested in exploring new interface designs for emerging technologies like augmented reality, where we can see information overlaid on the real world. Some of the things we look at are novel interaction techniques for this kind of interface, 3D user interfaces, and essentially developing new ways to interact with information that helps people to be in the loop and explore data and understand uh, problem solving and to help them make decisions. Hi, I'm Sarah Goodwin. I'm a lecturer at Monash University and I work with the Immersive Analytics Group. I seek to leverage information to better understand our buildings and our cities and our human behaviours. My name is uh, Maxime Corday. I'm a research fellow at uh, Monash Faculty of Information Technology. And I guess what I'm really interested in is uh, helping people engage more with their data. If there are people from engineering research or digital health research or people from the industry, really seeing how technology modern technology like virtual reality and augmented reality can help them solve uh, their problems. It's a place where we have a, a big opportunity to do interdisciplinary research, work with uh, a lot of people from different backgrounds, from different research backgrounds like engineers or people from digital health. We get a lot of opportunities to try new VR and AR technology uh, to see how it could help eventually solve problems uh, in the real world. I'm Bernie Yenny and I work with uh, maps in augmented reality and virtual reality. With augmented reality what we can do is take uh, maps outside so we can walk on a street and visualize geospatial data, geographic data, for example for each house or we visualize underground uh, infrastructures such as cables for example. Uh, so that offers a lot of, of exciting new opportunities because you can visualize what's not actually visual on the spot. So we call this situated analytics or situated visualization. My name is Michael Weibrow. I'm a senior lecturer here in the Immersive Analytics Group. So our project is about the layout of chemical plants. And here the problem is you have a number of pieces of equipment and the pipes that connect them and we want to get a minimal overall layout that satisfies certain constraints for things like safety and maintenance. To solve this problem, we're using a combination of optimization and visualization technology. And we're never going to completely replace the human in this process. There's too much knowledge that they have. But what we can do is make their um, job much, much easier using computational techniques. But this requires us to be able to make them understandable to the user. So this is a kind of human in the loop optimization process. Working in the Immersive Analytics Group at Monash is great because we have a number of world-leading researchers in the areas of visualization, uh, constraint solving and human-computer interaction. We get to do really groundbreaking research that makes a difference for people. We're a team of world-leading researchers who are passionate about this, this work that we do, exploring these uh, new uh, ideas and new technologies and seeing how they can enable people, augment people's abilities in ways that, uh, that we haven't seen before. So we'd love for you to come and work with us and help us invent this new future.